is Rain, and I am back with another reading for you. This reading is going to be all about who admires you and why. But as you can see, this is a collaboration, or I should say another collaboration with a spiritual key essential. She's going to be doing what do they secretly desire about you, okay? So you're not going to want to miss that. So definitely, once you're finished with this reading, go over to her portion of our collab so you can find out what do they secretly desire about you, okay? But if you are new here, go ahead, hit that subscribe button so you can become a raindrop today because you want to become a raindrop, okay? I'm telling you, you just want to do it. Everything's going to change after you hit that subscribe button. Well, after you hit the subscribe button and then watch a few readings, you know, things will change. Anyways, um, if you want to follow any of my socials, uh, those will be in my description box below along with your timestamps. Let's get into these piles. All right, go ahead, choose a pile. I'll see you at your reading. Pile number one. All right, who admires you, I am getting such a sweet, sweet energy from whoever this person is, pile number one, just like right off the bat, such a sweet energy from them. Um, this person that I'm speaking on, they do, they really truly admire you. They admire so many things about you. Um, this could be a friend, this could be a boss, this could be a coworker, this could be a business partner. This could be, uh, I'm hearing business endeavor, I don't know. But this is someone who, I really wanna say you know them professionally, um, but again, this it, it just follow the reading because you'll know exactly who this person is. So this is someone who truly admires you. Oh God, they have such a great energy when it comes to you. They're just like, they love you. They love the work that you do. They, they feel like you are so gifted. They feel like you're so talented, right? This person who admires you, um, ugh. I heard the gift that keeps on giving. You are the gift that keeps on giving. And then this person here is also has an energy about them. I really feel like this is um a relationship or something here that's very mutual or this could be your friend. I I don't know. Um so signs that I'm picking up on are Taurus, Aries, Gemini, I'm hearing Scorpio and I'm also hearing Libra. Um but the person that admires you um are like they're so like I don't know, quick. They're quick when it comes to you or they're quick when it... Um, clarify this Knight of Swords because that's what I'm picking that up from. What is this? Quick energy. Quick, quick. Like, let's do this quick. This person is... Uh, <laughs> this person's quick, okay? <laughs> let's clarify this Knight of Swords. Uh, ooh, who is this? Oh, this is in reverse, yeah. Okay. I'm seeing this person be someone who loosens you up now or frees you. Yeah. The person that admires you is someone who frees you they or they help free you from something or a mindset or a burden or heavy burdens or just a way of thinking or this person here who admires you, they unintentionally do this and the visual that I'm getting from spirit is very strange at but I get it and I also almost feel like I don't even want to say it because it may not make sense to you how it makes sense to me but uh I'm seeing you know like those big balloons and parades of like animals or something and there's people holding the I don't want to call it a balloon but it's like an air floaty whatever and there's people holding the strings to that air floaty, like a bunch of people holding the strings and they're walking with the thing. But I'm seeing this person that I'm speaking on um, as <laughs> the person that comes through and like cuts all the strings to this this um, air floaty so that it flies away. You know, this is this is the energy of whoever this person is that admires you. It's like they are they 
they kind of have like the sneaky energy about them not sneaky in a bad way but sneaky in a way where like they want to help free you from things so that you can fly away see now i don't know why i got that visual but i understood it so yeah the person uh who admires you is um <sighs> They have such great energy when it comes to you and they just want to give it's like they want to give to you you know they really do i am picking up on this person maybe someone who is uh a masculine um or someone who's really big into their masculine energy or this is someone who's really good with both sides of their themselves you know but like it seems like when you speak to this person or the energy that this person operates in with you is more so of their masculine so this really could be something at work mm -hmm. all right why do they admire my pile number one spirit why do they admire my pile number one ooh, ooh. because you're talented you got the world you got the high priestess at the bottom of the deck because you're talented they admire you because of your your gift or your um talents or your personality they admire you because um you just are who you are you know this person admires um your strength i heard your fortitude um this person admires um how hard you work how uh quick of a learner you are um the person that i'm speaking on here um they just they admire your knowledge you have so much knowledge about um i'm hearing the world <laughs> yeah spirit guiding me back to the card um you have so much not knowledge about the world and how it works and um man you're like another set of eyes or something for this person um or that's how they see you that's how they see you. They see you as another set of eyes in this world who um, sees things how they see them or very, very similar. Um, and they just, they they really take heed to the things that you say and um, the person who admires you. Uh, I don't know why this whole reading, I've been feeling like I want to cry. So, I mean, I feel like this person may feel that way towards you. I think that... Um, oh no i'm not about to do it but yeah there's an energy here with this person that they just are they're wowed by you pal number one they're so wowed by you they're so grateful to know you and um this person here wants to help alleviate anything that they can help alleviate anything that they know how to do that maybe you don't they just want to show you to help alleviate anything okay um there's such a mutual energy here i think that you do this for this person too without knowing i do feel like you guys may talk about this though or this person may tell you like hey i just want to let you know you do this or you show up like this or if this isn't them just wanting to talk about it this one time i think that this may be conversations that you and this person have a lot where it's like i see you you know don't forever forget that i see you i see you you know i think both of you guys share that um and it's just really it's a really refreshing energy because i feel like both of you yeah i'm getting them i feel like i'm getting emotional here and i feel like both of you guys get emotional about this because it's kind of like a it's so mutual you know it's so mutual and i feel like um I've seen so many quotes like on, on Instagram or whatever, where it's kind of like, you know, if I had me in my life or if I had someone who to, to treat me how I treat other people or something like that, you know, the quotes like that, um, this is, this is it, you know, this is it. This is that person. <laughs> this is that person. I'm not picking up on a romantic connection here. Of course, take the reading how it resonates. It really could be, or this could be the start of something romantic. You never know. But what I'm picking up on here is a mutual energy between two people who it, it's like the connection that you two have is very healing and it's healing in a way where you guys don't even have to talk about how healing it is. It's just, it happens. It happens when you speak to each other. It's just, 
like there's nothing else to say it like dropped the mic you know <laughs> that's the energy with this person who admires you pal number one. Oh, this was such a great reading um such good energy um do not to do not forget to go over to a spiritual key essential um her reading where she's going to be doing what do they secretly desire about you tap in y'all go over there show some love um but that's what i got for you also don't forget to subscribe to become a raindrop know that i love you guys on a soul level peace hey pal two all right so who admires you so the first thing that i heard when i was shuffling the cards is this could be your sister so if you have specifically a sister this could be them i mean i guess if you have a brother it could be them too but i heard sister um oh yeah 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 for sure so the person that admires you here um Oh, you're such a, you're so, you're like a guiding light for this person. If this isn't your actual sister, this is someone who, um, they feel that sisterly energy with you, you know, they feel like, they feel like, um, they feel a bond with you that's closer than a friendship. You know, they feel like it's family. They feel like you're family. Mm-hmm. The person that admires you feels like you are their family or you literally are their family. Um, yeah, this person here, they're so proud of you. They're so happy. They're so, they're so protective. They're so defensive. They're so happy, proud, protective, and defensive, okay? <laughs> when it comes to you, this person has such great energy. Again, this really could be a family member, but, um yeah if it's not this is a friend who again sees you as family and like when it comes to you they will go to bat they will go to war they don't care they will you will see another side come out of this person okay when it comes to you and even over the slightest things they're like huh even if somebody starts to begin to say your name in a negative way they're like who are you no you're not so you couldn't be talking about my my person you couldn't be. You have to be talking about another one. It's another person named that. Yeah. Because you're not talking about my Stacy. You must be talking about another Stacy. You got to be. <laughs> That's how they are with you. Um, the person that admires you. Um, they want to see you win. They want to see you flourish. This person here is... Uh, they view you as a boss. They view you as someone who you're so resourceful, you know, they just feel like you're someone who they could call and you could, you would handle anything. Um, and they feel the same way about you. Yeah, they feel like they could call you and they know that they could call you and you would handle a situation or you would know what to say in that situation to guide them through it. You would know how to handle something or you just, you're so resourceful to this person. Um, you know, this person here who admires you, um, They're very protective, very protective, very protective energy I'm getting. Mm hmm. Yeah. This person here is um, someone who. It's like they watch you or they study you, you know, because they want to be just like you when they grow up. I really am picking up on a family energy here. This could be your cousin. Mm-hmm. Or again, like I said, it could be a friend. But this person, um, technique, technique, something about technique. Um, or like modeling themselves after you. You're very influential to this person. You may look like this person. Again. <laughs> Again, this is this really could be your family member, okay? Because y'all may look alike. <laughs> you and this person may look alike. Or this could be um you could be there. Okay, hold up. How's this? What's the dynamic I'm picking up on? Uh who admires you? So this could be your daughter. This could be your I'm picking up on a, a feminine energy though. So this could be your daughter. This could be your younger cousin, niece. Okay. Cause I'm definitely feeling like they look up to you and they model themselves after you. 
Yeah. In some way, shape, or form. Mm-hmm. Even down to, like, your clothes. But I'm not picking up on it in a weird, like, creepy way where it's, like, someone who's trying to be you. And I'm not feeling that. I'm feeling like this is an influential energy from a younger sibling, a younger someone who's, like, you know... I'm gonna buy this shirt because I saw that my sister had a shirt like this. You know, it's like that energy. It's that, and it's like that type of energy here. Okay, so why do they admire my pile number twos? Oh gosh. Because you have such a Oh man, this person here who admires you, you have, they feel like you have, oh, you show up in a way that's so different from the things that you've been through. You're so strong. I mean, you got the strength card here, but you're so, it's like your strength is on a whole nother level. It's like people, this person doesn't even see you as just being strong. They just see you as someone who does magic, right? It's like, how are you like this and you've been through whatever you've been through? Or like, how are you? How are you so? How are you like this? <laughs> you know, that's the energy with the this person here. It's like, you're like, I don't want to say superwoman, but it is what's coming up. But you're like in indestructible. You're you are um a force of nature, force to be reckoned with. You're um a role model, you're someone to style yourself after. You're, man, pal, too. Whoever this person is, they love you deeply. They love you deeply. And, um, you know, this person really, really, like, models themselves after you or this person really, really looks up to you. This person who admires you, um... Mm. Yeah, for some of you, this could be your daughter. Yeah. And I feel an energy coming from this person of just deep love and admiration. And I'm trying to contain this energy without crying, okay? <laughs> but this person really, really... um just cares for you okay and I think that this is someone who's seen you weather some storms or like go through some things and and really come out on the other end of these things and I think yeah this person says to themselves like I I know, I know that I can go through things or I know that like life is going to have its ups and downs or whatever, but I know that I can make it through like any tough moment because I have pal too. And not in a way, is they're not saying it in a way where they're like, because they have you and you will take care of that situation for them, even though I feel like you would, but it's not like that. It's because they have you as an example, you know? So if you're not around, they know how to handle situations now because they had you as an example or they have you as an example, okay? So this is who, this is who admires you, pal, too, and this is why. Um, ooh, do not forget to go over to a spiritual key essentials channel where she's gonna be doing what do they secretly 
desire about you. You're going to want to tap into that reading, okay? So also, don't forget to subscribe to become a raindrop, all right? Um, know that I love you on a soul level. Peace. Pile three. Okay, so the person that admires you is... um. <laughs> it's like when I was shuffling these cards. Well, first off, the cards flew out. Um, and then I heard me... Like, I admire you. It's me. I don't know. <laughs> I think someone's frustrated. <laughs> I think someone here is frustrated. Um, maybe because you don't see them or notice them or something. Whoever this is, they admire you, okay? And they're like screaming it at you. They're like, listen, what in the world? It's me. I admire you. I admire you. Me over here, okay? So, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But this person admires you, okay? Um, this is someone who... All right, so Spirit's wanting me to um, kind of uh, clarify who this person is. So, because uh, it's going to be different for a lot of you. Yeah, and the shoes, Converse, Converse. That's what she picked. She has on Converse. Yeah, she got on Converse. I don't know, maybe this person wears Converse a lot. Uh, but it's something to do with the way that they dress. Uh, they're very edgy. Um... I really am picking up on this page of cups and the way that she is dressed here. So this could be similar to their style. You know, the skirt, got the converse, got the socks, got the jean jacket, two little space buns. I don't know. This this may be the vibe. Um, but of course, that's not going to resonate with everyone. Um, this person that admires you. <laughs> You're like their little baby. This person is like, they wish that they could like shrink you and put like hold you in their hands. You know, like how she's holding this cup and looking at the fish. That's literally what this person wants to do to you. They're like, I want to shrink you and I want to be able to put you in my purse and just pull you out and be like, hey. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but this person who admires you, they find you to be so adorable. They find you to be so adorable. Like, look how she's looking at this fish. Look, she's like, you see? I see you, do you see me? <laughs> they have such a playful energy with you. I just, I, I'm picking up on someone like tickling you and running. <laughs> or like, um... I don't know, like hitting you in the arm and like running away, like playing tag. I don't know. I don't know. They have a very playful energy about them, though. Um, the person that admires, this could be your friend. Um, yeah, this could be, this could be your friend for sure. Or like your best friend. They just love you. They love you. And then for others of you, this could be a lover. So definitely take it how it resonates because I am picking up on a really good best friend or I'm picking up on like your lover. So again, take it how it resonates. Um, but uh, this person, they just, they're like, yeah, they have such an energy about you. Like, you okay? What you doing? Oh, literally, yeah, that's the energy. Like this person may walk in and be like, what are you doing? When they can clearly see what you're doing. And they're like, hmm, you're on your phone and you're sitting there on your phone. Hmm, okay. And they may like grab the phone out of your hand. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this person likes to like mess with you or something, but they love you so much. They love you so much. They just like to get you riled up. Or something like that. Like this person. Yeah. It's such a playful energy with this person. They may like, I don't know, untie your shoestring. <laughs> such a playful energy. Um, but this is who admires you, pal three. This person admires you so much and they love to have a good time with you. They love to play. They love to um I don't know, just do fun stuff. I'm picking up on a beach here. Maybe you guys like to go to the beach or something like that. Or maybe you just like to go to the beach. Um, yeah. Yep. Um, why does this person admire my pile threes? <laughs> why? <laughs> why does this person admire my pile threes? Just two. Uh, 
Okay. This person admires... Oh, this person here admires how intuitive you are. This person admires your beauty, your beauty, your beauty, your beauty. Yeah, they admire, they think you're beautiful and they admire your beauty. Um, they may like stare at you. <laughs> yeah, they may stare at you or they may like, when you're talking to them, they're really like looking at you. They're looking at your face. They're looking at your eyes. They're like, man, like you're so pretty. You're just so gorgeous. You know, like that's the energy with this person. Um, yeah, uh-huh. This person admires, um, oh man, this person admires your feistiness. The, the, this person feels like you're so feisty or like you are um, no nonsense. Or you're like... Um, your what's the word i'm looking for sporadic um impulsive even the things that you say are just impulsive sometimes but they love that about you they love that okay so i'm picking up on conversation maybe you guys talk on the phone facetime text whatever and um they just know whenever you guys talk on the phone they just don't know what you're gonna say but they love this about you they love this about you and <laughs> I'm picking up on in like some cases this person may like okay so in some cases this person likes to hear others reactions to you like say for instance for example if this is your best friend um and you guys are on the phone this person may like to put you on speakerphone um so other people can be like so other people can just hear you not in a way where it's not in a weird way or anything but it's just the things that you talk about are crazy and like I f I'm getting an energy here where like this person will like put you on speakerphone or something like that and the people that are around this person get a little bit jealous they get a little bit jealous that you're their friend and not not the other people's friend you know and this person does that for that reason like this person does that <laughs> This is someone who does that. They're like, listen to my friend. Or like, my friend's so silly. Or like, they talk about you all the time too, to other people. And they're like, oh, my friend sent me this picture. Or my friend is crazy. You know, they said this to me. Or listen to them. Or something like that. Um, I don't get it, like a bad energy or anything like that. They're not like telling your business or anything. But it's kind of like a bragging in a way. But like indirectly bragging about you. Like listen to them. Oh my god, the other day they told me this crazy shit. You know? And then the people that they're talking to, they're like, damn, yeah, that is crazy. And then they're the people that they're talking to are like, oh, I kind of wish that was my friend. Like, you know... <laughs> That's how this, that's how, that's how they feel. And that's how this person feels about you or they just know that you're an awesome friend, you know, and they just, they brag about you, you know, they brag about you and they, they set, they set situations up sometimes so that others can be jealous that you're their friend and not the other people's friend. That's really what I'm saying. They set situations up like that where they're like, hmm, my best friend, you know? <laughs> That's how I feel. Um, or my girlfriend, my boyfriend, my best friend, or, you know, they, they, they do that with you because you just have such a big personality to them. You have such a big personality and um, uh, this person loves you. They love you. Okay, let's get more. Why, 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 um, why, why do they admire you? Mm. okay and then this person also admires it's like you have this person really loves how successful you are or just how your mind works when it comes to to success or this could just be money or um yeah this person here they admire your business side your boss side yeah so this is someone who um is fairly close to you in some way um and they admire 
how playful you are, your playful nature, and how you're always making people laugh. People just cannot not laugh around you. But then you know how to get down to business. You know how to talk about business. You know where to invest. You know what to do. You know, you just, you got it. You got it. You got it. You got the tools. You know what to do. And when I say you got the tools, it reminds me of the magician. So you could be a Gemini um, or an Aries. But um, yeah, this is who admires you. This is why they admire you. Um, this is someone here who is right there by your side, okay? I'm looking at this Six of Wands, which was at the bottom of the deck. And like, this is the person that we're talking about right here. They're like, yeah, 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 this is you. And they're like, go, 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 you know? <laughs> like, they, they, they got you. That's the type of energy that I'm picking up on from this person. Um, so that's what I got for you, Pal 3. This is the person that admires you and why they admire you. Um, do not forget to go over to a Spiritual Key Essentials channel where she's going to be doing what do they secretly desire about you, okay? So go over there, show a lot of love, um, subscribe to become a raindrop today. Know that I love you guys on a soul level. Peace.